Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to mount an NTFS partition automatically in Linux. So the first thing we need to do is to find out our device, our file system. For that, we use fsdisk to list all our partitions in Linux. Okay, so we got uh, partitions listed. This is uh, what we're really interested in, which is our device or file system. In this case, our NTFS partition is SDA2. And uh, we keep that number in mind. So you might want to write it down because you're going to need it later uh, when. Uh, doing the entry in the FS tab uh, file. The second thing we need to do is to create our mount point. The mount point is actually a directory in our uh, operating system in which the partition is going to be mounted. So let's create our mount point in this case, our mount point, we're going to name it NTFS. The mount point is really a directory inside, a, inside our file system in which the NTFS parti partition is going to be mounted. The next thing we need to do, we need to find our user ID and group ID because we're also going to need that uh, when. Uh, we do our entry in the uh, fs tab file. For that, we use the UI, the id command dash u for user id and id command for and dash g for a group id. As you can see, our uh, user id and group id are 1000, which should be your case if you uh, were the one who installed your operating system. And the next thing we need to do is open our fs tab file and edit it. You also need a uh, pseudo privilege when editing this file. Uh, you can use bi. Um, if you have problem using bi as your editor, uh, you can use a GUI editor like gedit. Uh, a lot of people find it a lot easier when using uh, a GUI editor because uh, it's a little bit hard to navigate uh, inside the VI editor. Basically, I had already entered, make this entry before. So this is this is the, the disk or the partition from step one. Remember that it was SDI, SDA2, and this is the uh, mount point that we created in step two. Basically, the next entry is the uh, file file system, the type of the file system. In this case, it's NTFS. Um, this U mask right here is the permission for this file system, and followed by the user ID and the group ID that we got in our step number three and we're going to mount this partition with read and write permissions once you got that entry just pretty much hit, hit escape column WQ W for write and Q for exiting the next thing is to mount the newly created entry or part or uh, partition inside the F fs tab file so you we need to mount it using the mount command dash a we're just going to read every entry inside that file and mount it and that's it